The prototype would now again take centre stage here at the museum. We wanted to portray the story of the mosquito. Take, it's our aim to convey all the aspects of this amazing aircraft, especially the men and women who built it and flew it. On that note, by some pure coincidence, a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, I got an email from somebody, and they wanted to present us with this logbook. And it's an observer and air gunner's logbook. And when the gentleman brought it to me, he said he's a gardener to this lady, named Mrs. Cross, and the logbook is for a J. Brian Cross. He was an observer who worked for de Havilland, and I would like to read you an extract from this logbook. It's the date, December the 6th, 1940. The time, 1500 to 1515. Aircraft, Mosquito E0234, the prototype in its B-class registration. Pilot, G. D. Havilland. Duty, observer. Reason or remarks, trim tests and then duration, 15 minutes. The book is full of all the test flights of the Mosquito prototype from this observer. It's going to take a center stage as part of our exhibition of the aircraft eventually. But to get this here on our doorstep, it's been donated by the widow of Mr. Cross now to the museum. And to get this, this year in particular, is a real bonus. Finally, I'd like to just thank some of you people here today. I'd like to especially thank the Heritage Lottery Fund for the most generous uh, money they gave us to help the restoration of this aircraft. Without that money, we would not have achieved the final job that you see us you see before you now. So thank you, HNF. I'd also like to thank all the other companies and individuals who have contributed to the success of this aircraft. I can't name you all individually, but a lot of you are here today, you know who you are, and I'd like everyone else here to show their appreciation to those people for what they've done for us. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that we were getting very concerned about the prototype being in the robin hangar and getting problems with moisture content. At that time, one of the reasons we actually embarked on the restoration project was was a bit concerned that if British Aerospace were to come down and see it, they might think we're not looking after it and take it away. My main concern now is that they'll see it as it is today, quite like it, and take it away. <laughs> yeah. On that note, um, Mr. Howard Mason of BA Systems is here, and I believe he would like to say a few words on that subject. Lord Lieutenant, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to express 
my thanks to the team for all the, the work that they've done in restoring the aeroplane. I'm really pleased to be here today, today to see it roll out. Because BAE Systems as a company is really proud of its heritage across land, sea and air. And we can trace our lineage back through British aerospace, that's so last century, uh, through British Aircraft Corporation and Hawker Siddeley back to de Havilland. So today we've seen the Mosquito, an iconic product, the first multi-role combat aircraft. That's a tradition that carries through to today with the Tornado fleet and the Typhoon, today's composite structure aircraft. Just as the Mosquito was composite in wood, we use slightly more advanced materials. And I think I can safely guarantee that unlike the Moscow, we will not be trying seaweed foam as part of the composite structure. They actually built a, fu a fuselage during the war with seaweed foam rather than balsa wood because of the problems of getting balsa from South America by sea. Also, I think the uh, many roles of the Mosquito included a civilian mail plane. And I don't see the typhoon in that role just yet. <laughs> But as was highlighted, in 1959, the aircraft was brought down here on long-term loan from de Havilland. And the last piece of paper I can find in, is 1983, when we're talking about the insurance cost of this long-term loan item. And, sorry Alan, unscrewing the loan from de Havilland plate in 1979 wasn't good enough to transfer <laughs> the ownership. But you see here the product of a tremendous effort, and we've been glad to be able to help from our main archive at Farnborough, where we found many of the underlying records. So I think it's appropriate at this time of uh, rolling out the prototype to acknowledge that the museum here is the right place to tell the story of the Mosquito prototype. And in recognition of that effort, um, I think it's appropriate that we convert that long-term loan into a donation. The aircraft is good.